actually help. <laughs> Mate, we usually carve this up. Mate, we've got smart with it. Do you any of you have pets? Because I just think like if they were dogs in there, would you feel differently? Do you know what I mean, mate? Right. Anyone wants sugar? No, I appreciate your job on that, but I just think to make that connection, has it affected like how you eat at all with any of you? To make that connection from doing this for a while. Nothing to, people. nothing really to do with this, but also like milk's really increased chances of yeah, breast okay, cancer and a lot of other listen. illnesses. So as well as listen, the animal you, abuse with the cows. You're here to protest about animal exports. No, I'm just. Or you're here to protest about us. Well, I feel like I'm serving, protecting you're you by telling anything. you about being you're another sucker. Do you know anything. what I mean? Like. Well, we'll come anything. back to the old, the old thing about you importing your opinion onto other people again, aren't we? Importing. <laughs> We're here to do a job, mate. No, I appreciate that. I'm not the one showering at people. You don't appreciate it because we've asked you to go away, leave us alone, and you're still here, so you don't appreciate it, do you? I just th I, no, I find the disconnect it, really interesting. Right. If you were a child abuser, it, I'd see it kind of the same way, where it's kind of like you're asking me to respect an action that you do, not an opinion, because you're physically doing it. It's not just something you think. So you're not protesting. Same as you're like not, you're not doing what you came for. If you think about it, Islam is not just an opinion because they actually slaughter the animals. So it actually becomes an action when they slaughter the animals based on a fake belief of a god that doesn't exist. Like it's kind of nonsense, really, isn't it? What the god doesn't exist? Are you a Muslim? In your opinion. In your opinion. God doesn't exist. That's my opinion, but right, the fact that you are drinking milk is an action, isn't therefore it? Therefore, don't import again your opinion on other people. Some people are very passionate about religion, others are not so. Doesn't mean they're right, doesn't mean they're wrong, does it? I'd say they're passionate about not thinking logically. I mean, it's not so. It's more the injustice of it. It's like any sentient being just seeing it sort of uh, being shipped around. I'm just a. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you savvy. <laughs> well, it doesn't take too much to work it No, out. I know, they're big, big fat. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> <That's laughs> <funny. laughs> I'll have to go back to the original point I made to the gentleman earlier on. Is that is this a lawful legal trade that do it ethically, morally? So you, not a question. Is, is, law, is it lawful? Hold on, hold on. Let me just hold on. Is, is, is law it's lawful? Right, okay, so what they're doing. Wasn't slavery What they're doing. Well. At the time it was, yes. Yeah, it was. At the time. It doesn't necessarily mean it's morally or legally right. Right, I'm just saying. At that time. Law as a way at to that use time, yeah, was it legal? Yeah, it was. Right, okay. So therefore, we're back to saying so it was a lawful right. legal trade. I'm not saying it's right. I know. Right. Okay, I'm saying it's lawful. Yeah, no, legal. Okay, I understand. Okay, morally and ethically. Yeah. I'm not going to pass comment on. Okay. However, I am here I to, to enforce and uphold the law. But, to enforce and uphold the law. That's what we're No, no, I understand that. Okay. But what I'm so saying again, is, you're, you're not unbiased. You're not like a referee who's unbiased. You're actually I'm on the side of these people because you're facilitating no, no, no. their murder. I am, I am here to ensure that the law is upheld. They are entitled to go about their lawful, legitimate business. But you become a servant whether, to an unjust whether, system. To also protect you as well, okay? However, whether it's morally right, ethically right, unfortunately I'm not moral police. I'm here to uphold the law. Okay? 
yet. Well, I probably should go into politics then, shouldn't I? No, this can't have okay. to do with However, that's the answer, okay? We're here to police your protest as best we possibly can. No, you're not you here to allow the trade to allow them through. Now, that's all you're against. Your opinion, that's fine. Okay? No, the truth is, you're only here for the trade. You're not here to allow lawful protest at all. I mean, ultimately, you've become the servants to an Islamic group of people outside of the country to facilitate them sacrificing animals for a religion that is complete nonsense. I mean, you're aware of Eid, right, and why this is happening. Do you know that? I mean, you must all talk about it. You know that Eid's going on, and that's why the animals are being taken over to be sacrificed by families. <laughs> Is it weird having a job where you basically have to disregard your opinion the whole time? We don't. Does it sort of affect your personal life in not having to have an opinion professionally? Is the restrictions on your personal life? Alright. I'm shut you out. <laughs> You're still out here though. <laughs> Why not? What I mean, do you find Eid a bit strange? Eid? Do you know do you know like the reason a lot of sheep are being exported now is because there's a Muslim festival going on where they sacrifice the animals by actually slitting their throats as a sacrifice to God. Any thoughts on that or not allowed to have them? Not that I'd care to discuss just you have thoughts on them? Not that I'd care to discuss with yourself over, no. It seems a bit bonkers to me. Not really. Because pretty much... Sacrificing say, an animal? Whatever I say is going to be twisted. No, no, I'm not saying it's bonkers. It's going to YouTube, it's going to be end up on your Facebook page. And obviously, it's my opinion. Yeah, I mean, you like mind. you prefer to the keep your job. The legal standpoint for Kent Police is that yeah. we're here to facilitate your peaceful, lawful protesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not the one shouting at the police, I'm just talking yeah. to you now, so... Like I said, I've been doing it for years. Yeah. Unfortunately, it does become a little bit water off Dutch bag. Okay, this, this, by all uh, means protest. Right, blood off a sheep's throat. <laughs> we don't make it personal. Yeah. Okay, you won't see us shouting and abusing you. Yeah, no, 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 I get that. But okay. the so thing is, ultimately, those animals are right. being... Yeah, 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 I get that. I'm not turning you into the villain, so don't think that. I'm not turning you into one either. Yeah. You, you do what you think is right. But what happens is I don't think you're unbiased because on a personal level, You've witnessed this and you've chosen not to make a connection that these animals are suffering and continue to choose the lifestyle habits that actually are part of this whole process. Do you find that a bit odd when you reflect on it within yourself that that's something that you choose to continue doing? Like I said to you, that's my personal opinion. My personal belief. It's not an opinion, it's an action. They're not things that I'm going to discuss with you openly. That's fair. Okay, whilst you're wearing glasses, they're obviously causing yeah, yeah, yeah. everything that I'm saying. Yeah, yeah well, all right. Uh, just okay. as an example, oh, no. do you know how the practice of getting milk from a cow, do you know how that happens? Have you ever thought I could be it? quite flippant about that, but yeah. no, I won't. But please enlighten me yeah, as to how you yeah, get milk on. from a cow, because okay. that's so, a really interesting five minutes. Okay, and you're drinking tea with milk. Okay, no, so it's it's good to know what you're putting in your body, isn't it? Refined sugar. Nice. Okay, so humans are mammals. Cows are mammals. Mm. For, in order for a female to produce milk, they need to be pregnant. In order for a cow to produce milk, they need to be pregnant. When a woman gives birth to a baby, that milk is for that baby. But only for that baby, it's not for a giraffe down the road, or a dog, or whatever. When a cow produces milk, that milk is for the baby cow. Lovely, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, in order to sell milk, it cannot be consumed by the baby cow. So uh, two days after the baby's been born, it's shot in the head. If it's male, so in a, in a, if it's male, it's short. Because obviously, because it's male, because they can't get milk out of it yeah, later the on in life. Right. And um, if it's a female, she has a bit of the milk, a bit of the formula, and then she grows up to also be raped every single year by the farmer. It's not my words, rape. The farmers actually call it rape. So they have rape racks where they rape these cows continually. Or artificial insemination, they call it. Yeah. And, um, it's someone's course, job to put their hand up the ar yeah, ass of a cow so and like squirt in. Not a job I particularly want, I don't think. No, it's no. disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer this one yeah. to that. Yeah, and uh, obviously the mother, she's, she's got a strong maternal bond, scientifically shown to be a stronger bond. Most, towards, most mothers do with their yeah, cars or babies. Yeah, exactly. So she cries for weeks actually after the baby's been shot, so some guy could have t milk in his tea, no offence. And uh, obviously these machines that go under there that milk her for the next couple of weeks or months, it doesn't know what to suck and what not to suck, so it ends up taking it even when it's dry and then pus gets into the milk. 
and uh, I think the FDA, I think it's the same with UK law, allows I think a whole eyedropper full of pus to be in every glass of milk. Uh, so in that little through the mastitis because of the, the constant milking. Of infection. Yeah. And actually, the reason why people find it so hard to give up dairy rather than switch to almond milk, coconut milk, oat milk, all these other amazing milks that won't boost your cholesterol or give you heart disease. Because mm. there's something like called casomorphine. Caso, which is casein is a protein that's actually shown to increase the chances of risk uh, of cancer. And morphine, you know what morphine is. It's a chemically addictive. addictive substance for the babies to return to the udders again and again and again and again. So I used to eat a lot of cheese, man, like, yeah, until yeah, I learned all yeah, about this. Like, but then I changed and I just think it's, <laughs> what I find interesting is like you can really witness the whole, like some of this process, but then not fully make the connection to want to change. Yeah. So that's and then that. that's the difference between it being an opinion and action. I don't, I like, to be honest, I think a lot of the people who come down to this, like some of these people eat meat, and I just think yeah, they're a bit weird. fucking crazy. Yeah. But like, but also the fact that as soon as the trucks go through, they shout at you because they turn you into the Panama villain doesn't help anyone. Yeah. But I'd prefer to have these sort of conversations where it's like,